Lesson 2 The Main Menu Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. Today we are going to continue to explore the Unity menu bar. The next option that we will focus is the Game Object menu. Join us as we explain the functionalities of this menu in Unity. Step 5 The Game Objects Before we start digging into the Game Object menu, let's talk about Game Objects, what they are and what they do. Game Objects are the fundamental objects in Unity. They can be characters, props, or even part of the scenery. By themselves, Game Objects don't do anything, however, they can be used as containers for components. The components are what will give properties and behavior to our Game Objects. We will take a closer look at components on the next video. For now, keep in mind that Game Objects don't do anything for themselves, but they can incorporate components that will define properties and behavior of that Game Object. All Game Objects have a Transform component. That way, we can represent the position, orientation and scale of the Game Object. The other components that give functionality to the object can be added from the component menu or from a script. Step 6 The Game Object Menu In this menu you can do several operations to game objects in your scene. The first option on the Game Object menu is Create Empty. This will create a new empty game object in your scene, meaning that will not have any components, just the transform. You can change the transform values by selecting the game object and using the inspector tab. If you have a game object selected, by clicking on, create empty child, you will create an empty game object that is child of the originally selected one. You can see that the new game object is a child on the hierarchy tab. The new game object is under the first one. If you change any value on the parent game object transform, it will affect the child. However, if you change the transform of the child, it will not affect the parent. On create other, you have a list of several types of game objects that you can create. Basically, these are just like empty game objects, however, they already have some components attached. For example, by selecting cube, you will create a game object that has a cube mesh attached to it. As you can see on the inspector tab, the game object has several components beside the transform. In this case you have a cube mesh, a box collider, and a mesh renderer component. The next option on the menu is, Center on Children. To use this option you need to create a child to the game object. Make sure that the child game object is not on the same position as the parent. Now, if you select the parent and, Center on Game Object, on the menu, Unity will move the parent to the child position. If you select two game object on the hierarchy tab, the make parent option will turn the first game object selected into parent of the second object. If you select a child game object, the clear parent option will destroy the hierarchy between the parent and the child. If you modify an instance of a prefab in your scene, Apply changes to prefab, will also apply those changes to the prefab itself. We will take a closer look at this when we study the prefabs. Break prefab instance, 
will turn the instance into a regular game object. When you have more than a child, the setter's first sibling, and the setter's last sibling allow you to move the child's position in the hierarchy. The option, move to view, will move the selected game object and center it to the current view. The align with view, aligns the selected game object with the current view. Align view to selected aligns the current view to the selected game object. Finally, the option, toggle active state, will turn a game object on or off. If a game object is not set to active, it will be ignored by the engine when playing the game. This concludes our lesson on the game object menu. On the next video, we will take a closer look at the components and to the component menu. Please, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.